uh, discussion and consideration the FY24 employee raises and evaluations. Do I have any discussion? Yeah, I'm going to make a motion that for the <laughs> FY24 budget. I'd like to discuss this first before you make the motion. You opened it for discussion, so we started discussing. Go I'd like to discuss. Uh, well, uh, if we're having problems with the budget, would this interfere with the raises uh, to give them 5%? I'd like to see 5% of the This uh, was put on the agenda by Alderman Gibson, and so I, I don't have any, I don't know. He will have to explain. Okay, explain. Thank you. Uh, I'd like to make a motion that in the FY24 budget, all employees would be eligible for a 3% COLA raise with up to an additional 3% for a merit increase based off employee evaluations to be developed and determined by the city manager. What is a COLA? Cost of living. I second that motion. So the third group is all discretionary based off the evaluation. 3% cost of living of 2% and a 2 and 3% pay increase. Was that already in there? It was budgeted for, uh, we budgeted. It's essentially a 5%. The only thing this is doing over what's, what's the five straight flat 5% is that it gives the ability for employees that score, you know, uh, above and beyond on the evaluation to get one an extra up to one extra percent, up to 3%. Yeah. Uh, so, that, I mean, that's, in our aspect of the budget, that 1% is not that much. In an employee's aspect of their household budget, that 1% is quite a bit. That is, it's noticeable. So I mean, it, gives your, it gives the city manager discretion to be able to reward our top performing employees based off their evaluation. I mean, a standard, the standard expectation of, and she can just, uh, Emily Wood can describe the uh, evaluation a little bit better. She did the, at the workshop where it was like a three point rating, either needs improvement, meets, meets expectation, or exceeds expectation. And the standard of you know, 2% raise would be the meet expectation. So we're already at 5%. All this is that, all this, this motion would do is give your employees that you're wanting to use as like a retention tool or the ones that are exceeding expectations that option to give her the ability to give them 6%. That's, that's the difference. I thought we were going to cap it at 5 well, you got some guys that are better work than others, and it's not right because one guy's doing all the work and the other guy's not doing nothing. I mean, but, but we've discussed five, correct, Emily? We said five when we were discussing the, the budget, and that's what you put in the budget. That's what I put in the budget. We're talking about the evaluation part, is what we're talking about. It, correct. It doesn't matter if it talks out if one employee's getting six percent. There's that extra money. Right. It wouldn't be ever employed that would get it. It'd be merit based. I have a motion from Alderman Gibson for 3% cost of living and up to 3% uh, additional with performance review and a second from Alderman Bayer. But that's up to 3%. Yes, yeah. Up to, right, correct. Yes. Uh, Alderman Jim Bayer? Yes. Alderman John Gibson? Yes. Alderman Jim Gillum? Yes. Alderman Darby Pack? Yes. Alderman Mindy Schubert? Yes. Vice Mayor Teresa Mall? I want to ask one more time. It's not 6%, correct? Are you saying 6%? A, a flat 3% for every employee. Yes. And then based off the employer review, they could be eligible for up to 3%. So, so uh, it could, so in theory, the, the, the highest of the high performer could get 6%, yes. I'm gonna say no because it's not the budget. Mayor Pastor. I'm gonna say no because like she said, it's not in the budget and we're gonna mm -hmm. keep on till we get, uh, have to raise taxes and I, that is not but I, we can't afford our taxes to go up. Right, so we can't afford to lose our best work to do. Well, we are not going to Let me tell you something. If you've got a dud in your workforce, you know who he is. Get rid of him. But that's just, you know, I voted for it. But that's just, and I'm going to tell you this to win, it's a bullshit excuse. 
Give them, I, I voted for it just to get rid of it. They either get 3% or 5%. We did vote for that. You did too. I'll, Every one of them in here voted for this. I voted for the evaluation is where I was going for it. Like I said, if you've got a, if you've got a dud after mowing your yard, how long are you going to keep it? Yeah. He's gone. Yeah. But we can take this back to the board, hack it out, do everything up, and it's still going to be the same when you come out. It's still going to be the same. But when the taxes come out, everybody in here don't pay taxes, but I do. I don't want to hear no crying. I still want to come out. I think every one of our employees pays taxes, Charles. The employees do. That's what we're talking He's about. He's talking about the board right now. It, no, everybody on this board does not pay uh, taxes. You don't um, know. Anybody you don't on this know. board that buys something here and the guy says They're talking about it has, He's talking really taxes. about real uh, if you, uh, real estate. Yeah. That's where they uh, Actually, when rent. somebody pays their rent or pay the owner's mortgage, and that's considered paying taxes. So, would you like to continue? Move on. 